home stretch of the A-10 regular season, and the UMass Minute Women are on a roll. They put their five-game winning streak to the test tonight against the Fordham Rams in a midweek matchup here from the Mullins Center. Hello, everyone, and thanks so much for joining us. Alongside Dan Lavallo, I'm Jim Kane. These two teams come into this game jockeying for position in the A-10. UMass comes in in third place. Fordham nipping at their heels in fourth. So needless to say, this is a pretty big game here tonight. So many tributes and so many honors in store for Kathy Delaney-Smith today, Dylan. But no tribute would be greater for her Harvard team than to pick up their sixth straight win. The final month of the regular season kicking off here today. And for the Minute Women, Dan, five of their final eight games will come right here at the Mullen Center. So suffice to say, it's crunch time for this UMass team. These two teams met last week down at the Ryan Center with Rhode Island coming away victorious. But tonight, Dan, a chance for some revenge for this UMass team here on their home floor. We've got a matchup of two teams headed in opposite directions as Brown has dropped four in a row coming into this one. Meanwhile, Harvard in their ancient eight opener has won three straight, but Ben, they haven't played in 17 days. Forbes will try again and knocks it down. Are you kidding me? Mackenzie Forbes wants to clear out the left side. Trying to go to work on Mayo who takes it away from her. Three on one, Mayo finds Breed for two. Nelson down to Forbes, a two hit plus with authority, Mason Forbes. Turner, a couple of crossovers, catches in the three. Big shot from Harmony Turner. Up ahead, there's Mbang beating everyone down the floor. Mason Forbes with the rejection. Breen on the drive, the Euro step flips it home. Pretty move out of Sam Breen. Welcome back inside the Mullins Center, everyone. Start of the fourth quarter between UMass and St. Louis. Our next telecast for UMass women's basketball will come next Friday, 12 o'clock tip. You can catch it here on Nessa against George Mason. In between that is a road matchup on the night that St. Bonaventure. But this weekend, next weekend, Dan, it is going to be awfully busy between the women's basketball team, the men's team, and the hockey teams here at the Mullins Center. The Mullins Center, the place to be. A doubleheader today. We've got... A few different doubleheaders coming up next weekend. Flowers down low as St. Louis begins the fourth quarter with the basketball. Rebound is tipped towards the sideline and corralled by Filoxi. You see Filoxi and Mayo in the backcourt. They have played every minute of the game today, and Sidney Taylor has played all but one minute. We'll see how they respond here in this fourth period. That's a lot of playing time. Breen at the free throw line, can't get the bounce. Story Verde does indeed go back to Breen to start the fourth quarter as McKenna White with a nifty finish. Big contribution off the bench that time by White. Taylor, Mayo, Faloxi, Breen, and White, the five for the Minute Women. McNeil into the paint, nice move. Left-handed again, excellent player. It's McNeil out there along with Harbison, Martinez, Flowers, and Warren. St. Louis has led by as many as 10. That lead came in the first quarter. UMass has led by as many as six. That came in a second quarter in which they outscored St. Louis 21 to nine, but it's been a close affair ever since as Harbison can't connect. Rebounded by White. Here comes Filoxi pushing the pace. Taylor, no. And Breen over the back. That was tipped down by McNeil. You know, you saw Breen make that move, almost afraid she was going to pick up her fourth foul that time, but they didn't call it, and that's big for UMass. Substitution for St. Louis. Brooke Flowers is going to come out, and Saval Gull comes in. Filoxi gets it back, decides to drive. Filoxi left wide open. Oh, halfway down and out. But a foul as Filoxi hits the floor. You see a close game like this, UMass up by one. That ball doesn't go down, and you wonder if that shot could come back to haunt you. Filoxi goes down hard, back up on her feet as the foul went on goal. So a couple of free throws for Destiny Filoxi. They actually gave the foul to Julia Martinez. That'll be her second as Filoxi gets the friendly roll on the first. 
on an effort here this afternoon for Destiny Philoxy. Six assists, three rebounds, two steals, a block, a few different charges. She's got 12 points and splits the free throws. Tori Verdi thought that Gull may have stepped out of bounds. He is beside himself. I wonder how many coffees Tori Verdi drinks during the course of the day. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of energy. Arbison long on that three ball. Destiny Falaxi tried to draw an offensive foul that time, didn't get the call, but UMass comes away with the possession. Green. Now Mayo. Both teams just won for their last six. Been in this stalemate here over the last few minutes where it's been a one possession game. Foul down low is going to go on Martinez, and that's going to be her third. Yeah, she's only been in a couple of minutes and has picked up two quick fouls during this sequence to, as you say, give her three. Philoxy goes to Breen. Taylor. And the low block green double team spins away from it and kisses it off the glass. Well, I don't know if she got away with a step that time, but nobody's going to argue if you're UMass as she finally comes through with only her third basket of the game. That's her first field goal since the first half. Six points, eight boards, seven assists. Gull can't get the hook to go. And Taylor with her eighth rebound. UMass slowing the pace a bit. Remember, a lot of players out there have played the entire game. Mayo, Faloxi among them, as White, no good. Taylor's played all but one minute, and Sam Breen has logged 28. Open is McNeil, and she converts the three. Now McNeil now has 15 points. That's Three shy of her high of 18, which came against Florida Gulf Coast back in November. Back to a one-point game. St. Louis giving UMass all they can handle today as Breen found some daylight but could not make the shot. A chance for St. Louis to take the lead. But picked up by Philoxy. Steal number three for Destiny, and she goes coast to coast. Destiny Faloxi playing one of her best games of the season this afternoon during a period when UMass needs it. An all-around performance here today from Destiny Faloxi, the senior, getting it done for the Minute Women. Harbison now. McNeil open again. Front rims the three. Well, you can understand why St. Louis is going to the hot hand, but that time the ball did not fall. Approaching the halfway point of the fourth, Jim Kane, Dan Lavallo with you here on Nesson. It's been a fun one in a Saturday matinee from the Mullen Center. Breen at the elbow. Poked away from behind by Warren out of bounds. Well, McKenna White has done a nice job coming off the bench. Coach Verdi needing that versatility with the injuries to some of his players, and they have stepped it up today. Biloxi goes to Mayo. And Mayo brings it back up top. Mayo on the drive, can't bank it home. But there's McKenna White keeping it alive. We have hit the final five minutes of this one, presented by Mass General Brigham Cooley Dickinson Hospital. Seven to shoot. Faloxi putting the moves on goal. And White comes up shy. This is a big trip up the floor for the Billikens as time becomes a factor. Goal can't reverse it home. Had a nice step to the hoop that time, too. St. Louis is just two for nine shooting in this fourth quarter. They've only scored five points. UMass hasn't fared much better. They've only scored seven. They're three of 11. It's been a grinded out, defensive-minded fourth quarter. 
Taylor tried to change that, could not. And here's Harbison. Huge rebound by Harbison. Warren tries to go past Breen and tried to go back to Gull, but Gull was cutting towards the rim. A turnover for St. Louis leads to a timeout. 3.54 left in this one. Fun finish here from Amherst. Stay with us. Final minutes coming up right after this.